Hey guys, in this video, we're going to take a look at some tips on how you can use the swipe gestures navigation bar on your Samsung Galaxy S21 series. Now first, um, to use the navigation bar, we need to go into the settings menu to turn it on. So first, swipe down at the top and tap on the settings icon. Next, go down and tap on displayed. Then we go down and tap on navigation bar in navigation bar by default your phone may be set to buttons so you can choose swipe gestures instead and in here if you tap on my options you have two different options to choose you can choose swipe from bottom now if i choose swipe from bottom you can see there are three uh, three different bars you can uh, swipe up to go to the recent screen you can swipe up on the middle button to go back to your home screen and you can also swipe up this way to go back to the previous screen now if we choose swipe from size and bottom then what you can do is you have only one button now but if you swipe across in sideways this will allow you to go back to the previous screen as you can see so let's say i want to go back to the previous screen i can swipe in either from the left hand side or from the right hand side and if I want to go back to the home screen, I can swipe up. Now, if you want to go to your recent apps screen, you swipe up and you hold for a second or so. Then in here, it will open up the recent app screen. Now, another thing that you can do is if you swipe diagonal like this, it will open up Google Assistant. So if you swipe in on the left hand side or the right hand side, it will open up Google Assistant. And you can also swipe at the bottom here to the left or to the right to go to the previous screen or go to the next screen like that. So just near the edge, at the bottom edge, you can swipe left, uh, swipe left or swipe right to go to the next screen or go to back to the previous screen. And again, if we swipe up and hold, then we can sw um, open up your um, recent app and then I'm just going to swipe across to go into my settings uh, screen and in here in the swipe uh, gestures settings you also have the gestures hints and let me just choose the other one for now swipe from bottom and then if I go back in here so you got gestures hints and at the moment you can see there are three different uh, bars down here so if I turn off gestures hints then you can see the lines will not be gone so assuming that you are already familiar with uh, the three buttons you can simply just use your phone without having the phone to display that um, the buttons right there so that can give you a little bit of extra screen space a very tiny amount but uh, it's, uh, it's still available for you to um, remove the, the lines so that you have some screen space right there and I'm going to go back in here and then you can also turn on or turn off show button to hide keyboard what this uh, feature does is that when you are using the keyboard, when you are bringing up the keyboard, there is a button down here that you can tap on it to hide the keyboard. Now, the button is not necessarily need to be there. You can still uh, close the keyboard by simply tapping, uh, swiping up on the left hand side, on the right hand side, like that, and that still can allow you to close the keyboard, or you can simply just tap on that down button to allow you to quickly. Uh, close the keyboard with a tap of a button okay so i'm going to go back into my settings menu so i'm going to go up in here and then there is also a block gestures with s pen so if you are uh, using an s pen and when you are drawing or writing near the edge that sometimes can cause your phone to um, to uh, navigate away from what you are doing so you can uh, turn on this block gestures with s pen uh, to prevent uh, the screen from accidentally going to a different uh, screen okay so those are uh, think the things that you can do with uh, swipe gestures navigation bar and uh, yeah if you want you can choose uh, swipe from bottom or swipe from size and bottom and you can also simply hide uh, all the lines at the bottom down here and that's it that's how you can use your navigation bar uh, swipe gestures on your Samsung Galaxy S21 series. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe to my channel for more videos.